They are scamming us, guys. I just opened it and look how little product. They are overpriced in a smaller bottle. They usually have the same ingredient list. That I'm getting very tiny, unperceptible bumps. Hi guys, today we're going to be putting to the test the Snail Repair Eye Cream by Amazon for one entire week and obviously see how well it moisturizes and reduces fine lines and wrinkles under my eyes. Before I try this out, I want to show you what my skin is looking like specifically under the eyes because this is a great time for me to try an eye cream. Because I don't know if you can tell, but it is definitely very dry and irritated like you can see redness right here. It is also very hard, that's what she said. It's just because it's so dehydrated, so I really want to see if this is going to help. But I Anyways, on the bottle, the claims that Mazon actually makes is contains 80% snail mucin to provide brightening effect and wrinkle care to the sensitive skin around the eyes. Now, my question is, all right, because also the cream version in the big tub for the face contains 80%. So what differs from this and why should I buy this instead of the bigger tub? But I will be making the comparison of the actual consistency and ingredient list later on at the end of this video. First of all, Mazon, we already have a problem because look, they are scamming us guys I just opened it and look how little product it is not even filled to the brim this is definitely a problem now applying it under the eyes maybe this is a little bit too much but honestly it, it feels very soothing it definitely is thicker compared to the normal cream in the bigger tub for the face so maybe it is supposed to be more hydrating but you guys usually I am against eye cream because I feel like they're totally a scam because like they are overpriced in a smaller bottle they usually have the same ingredient list so what's the point but Honestly, for the first impressions, all I can say is, all right, Mazon, we'll see. So it's day two, but before we go any for this experiment, y'all know that I want to read the ingredient list with you guys, so to see if there's any ingredients that might be bad for our skin or if everything is in check. Now, with the Mazon cream, the face one, I was very happy with the ingredient list, so I'm expecting to be happy with this one as well, but either way, let's read it together. So the first ingredient after water is going to be snail secretion filtrate. So this is definitely very good. That means that it's very high and they ain't scamming us. But basically, snail secretion filtrate is amazing because it actually is an exfoliant so it can remove the dead skin cells on the top surface of your skin therefore revealing new baby skin cells so making your skin a lot more glowier plumper it also is anti-aging because it stimulates the natural production of your collagen in the skin also it contains hyaluronic acid in it so it also is a little bit plumping to the skin so that is amazing on top of that there is also going to be niacinamide you guys niacinamide is an amazing ingredient a little bit overplayed now because it's basically in every skincare product at this point, not only reduces the inflammation in the skin because it's anti-inflammatory, therefore it's great if you have any redness caused by acne or dryness that is going to soothe that. On top of that, it's going to glow up the skin, reduce a little bit of dark spots and pigmentation, and basically reduce the appearance of your pores as well as reducing sebum production. Then there's also going to be a metal foam seed oil. Now basically this is an oil that is very similar to our actual sebum in the skin, therefore just like jojoba oil is also sebum regulating, therefore it's going to balance out if you have excess sebum oil so that is also very good and also metal foam oil actually contains vitamin E in it which is an antioxidant therefore it's great for giving us protection from the environment and free radicals therefore it is anti-aging because it protects our collagen from degradation you guys then there's also squalene in this I'm not sure if it was in the big face version but not only is it an antioxidant once again so it's going to protect us from free radicals protect our collagen from aging but on top of that it also is anti-inflammatory therefore it's going to soothe the skin if you have any irritation caused by once again acne or just dryness and it's great also for eczema as well as it being amazing because it's hydrating and moisturizing to the skin oh guys and there's also going to be almond oil this is quite cute because almonds once again they're rich of vitamin e so just i already told you guys i'm not gonna repeat myself then you guys as i told you this also contains sodium hyaluronate so basically hyaluronic acid personally i love this ingredient so much y'all know that i basically injected in my face in the forms of filler all over oh lord again a fucking game. And truly, it is just amazing because it's plumping, hydrating, anti-aging, it reduces fine lines and wrinkles. And truly, to have it under the eyes, it's amazing because it's gonna plump them up. So if you have a little bit of like volume loss, like tear trough volume loss, you can see right here an example, it's going to plump them up and so it give you a more youthful, rested appearance. So that is definitely very good. Ms. Don, actually, you know what? You might have snapped this ingredient list. I'm very happy. You might be serving us a little too much. You're a very good good waiter you're feeding us too well actually you know what you guys i feel like i'm gaining weight right now like i'm, I'm fat that's what i think but marie you're sitting here mm -hmm. you're not skinny okay i'm not skinny you're not i know skinny that at all 
Cue to the clown music, please. <laughs> Guys, honestly, I have to say it is day four and I am loving this cream just because it is so moisturizing. I mean, I had really dehydrated under eyes. My skin was hard because of how dry it was. The hardness is gone. My skin is now so moisturized and hydrated. There is still a little tiny dehydration, but it's going off very quickly. However, one thing I'm noticing is that I'm getting very tiny, unperceptible bumps. I don't feel like you'll be able to see them on the camera. They're not necessarily Melia, but it might be the start of Melia, and if you don't know what it is, it's basically like little bumps, especially under the eyes, that you can't really pop. But honestly, guys, all this time that I've been saying that eye creams are a waste of money and you don't need them, I mean, I am loving this. <laughs> guys, so it's day six. I have my final thoughts and results, and ultimately, I'm gonna tell you if it's worth spending your money on this or not, but trust me, it's not what you expect, so keep watching. We are a clown. We are a f***ing clown, guys. Voila, what do we have, ladies? A fucking clown. We are a stupid bitch. We are a fucking clown. I have now completed my full transformation. Now everybody will be able to tell that I'm a clown. I mean, before I was just walking around as a clown in disguise and nobody could... Well, I mean, I feel like people could tell anyways, but still. Now they're sure that I am a clown. By the way, if you're wondering, okay, but you're not a fully formed clown because you're missing a red nose. Honey, don't worry, I got you. I just thought that my nose just naturally looks like a clown nose, very round, sometimes it's red because of the skincare products that I use that give me a little bit of irritation. So I thought, you know what? Just be myself. The only thing that I needed to be a full four clown was the wig. Everything else is already here. Oh, it looks like we have some clowns who are desperate for airtime. But guys, why are we a clown today? Well, I mean, not just today, but today we are very much clowns. That is because of this. It gave me the boost, the powers that it needed for me to blossom into the fully formed clown that I am. If you have seen all my other videos in the past, I was just saying that you don't need an eye cream because eye creams are just a scam. They're literally a smaller version of the repackaged bigger moisturizer one. But I have to say, I love this. This experience was amazing. I I am now in love with this eye cream specifically, but now that I've tried this, I'm a lot more open, just like my booty hole, what? to other eye creams. You see, once you do anal once, you know, you get the gist of it. You're like, you know what, maybe that was quite a little bit nice, and I'm open to trying it a lot more times. Ladies, my, my nastier ones, I bet that you can relate right here. Yes, I know. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> Woo! Um, ciao, I'm crying. So truly, let me get into the reasons as to why this is truly amazing. First of all, I promise y'all something, and when I do a promise, I keep it. So let's just very briefly compare the ingredient list of the all-in-one moisturizer in the bigger tub and the snail eye cream. Literally, you guys, these are basically two completely different things. They're not the same ingredient list. This has niacinamide, this one doesn't. This has different plant extracts than this one does. The only thing that they have in common is the snail mucin. The rest is completely different. Mazan is one of the only brands that does not repurpose their moisturizers and put them into a smaller box and overcharges the prices. Mazan, I feel like I stand so much that I'm just gonna, you know, my wig is gonna fly because I stand so much. So, of course, when it comes to the ingredient list, I love both. If I were to pick one, to be honest, I feel like I'm gonna go with the eye one. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just such a clown. But truly, I prefer this one just because it is a little bit thicker than this one and y'all know that when it comes to my moisturizers and my men, I love thickness. That is what I seek for. That moment we both knew that crazy is a whore, her mother is a whore, and her grandmother is the biggest whore I've ever seen in my life. But truly, enough of the comparisons. Let's move on to the actual star of the video, which is this. So, the results that I have seen. In the vlogs, I was telling you that I was seeing the start of Milia, but let me tell you, that was such not the case at all. I feel like it was something else in my skincare routine that I was overdoing. But truly, it is just so moisturizing, so hydrating, and it's just so pleasant to add. 
bad because I never used an eye cream before because I was so against it. So having an eye cream, I have to admit, is a very nice step to add in my routine. Me being extra, having 24 7,000 steps, I love to add a number one. But still, the formula is amazing. The consistency is amazing. As I said, I prefer this one to this one. The results that I have seen, moisturization, yes. It is very good for moisturizing. My skin was a little bit red and dehydrated. Sometimes it happens quite often to me as around my eyes. And I have to say, having an eye cream instead of my normal moisturizer for all of the face was definitely very nice. I mean, is it that plumping? Is it that we're gonna remove the deep set if you have deep set eyes or eye bags? No. This is not a cream that is gonna do that. They did put niacinamide in it, which in theory is gonna lighten the skin a little bit from those dark spots. But if you are looking for that, then get more like vitamin C's caffeine serums, which are a little bit stronger than this one. But I love snail-based creams, and this is an amazing snail-based eye cream. How does it reduce my filings and wrinkles? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a little bit of a stretch here. To be honest, it does feel amazing. It is very nice to put on, but as far as anti-aging, if you want to get true anti-aging, you would not have to rely on this. You want to get retinol. You want to get peptides. You want to use SPF under your eyes, of course, yes. This is just a very nice addition, but don't rely just solely on this for anti-aging. So now that I said my positives and the results that were a little bit, you know, it's now time for the negatives. The negative kind of that I do want to touch on is do you really need this? Like this, is this a must? No, of course not. Whereas I would say yes, moisturizers are a must. You need them in your routine, of course. So if you want a snail-based eye cream or just snail-based product, by all means use it because it is amazing. I love it. Is it necessary? Especially if you already have the moisturizer one in the bigger bottle. Do you need to buy this to just apply on your eyes? Absolutely not. Even though the ingredient list is different, the main ingredient is gonna be the snail one and that is what you're looking for. But anyways, now moving on to how to incorporate this in your routine and what skin types could actually use this. Of course, skin types when it comes to eye, under eye area, there really doesn't is no change just because the under eye doesn't produce that much oils of its own. So even if you have oily skin, you're still gonna need to moisturize your under eyes. Otherwise you are gonna develop your under eye crow's feet a lot faster. Oily skin types, yes. Sensitive skin types, yes, check. Dry skin types, yes. Yes, of course. It is amazing for all skin types. She is a prostitute. Just like me. We're sisters, twins. Now, of course, how to implement this in your skin routine. I mean, you can use this in the morning. You can use it at night. You can use it both in the morning and at night. I've tried both and it is just amazing. It gets absorbed so quickly and it actually will give you a very more well-rested look. So it is very good to use in the morning routine. Now, when it comes to eye creams, there's not necessarily a rule that you have to apply it before or after your moisturizers. I personally do decide by looking at the ingredient list. So for example, if something like this does contain hyaluronic acid or snail mucin, which we know that it needs to be closer to the skin rather than after your moisturizer, then I personally for this one would apply it before you apply your actual moisturizer. But it really depends on the consistency. It depends on the ingredient list. But so to just wrap things up very quickly, because I actually have a show tonight. Yes, I'm on. I have, I'm a performer. We all know that. And I have very amazing tricks that if you want to know, just watch my show later on. If you were to ask me, would you implement this in your skincare routine? The answer to that is going to be yes, because I love it. Is it a necessary? No. Will I buy it once I finish this? Not necessarily. Was it a night experience? Yes, of course. Do you need it? Not really. I hope that it explained it a little bit better and made you feel a little bit more sure on if you should buy this or not. My biggest temptations is wanting to whack you across the head. Okay, you cannot tell because the camera wasn't running, but I have actually spent several minutes pondering and thinking if I should actually recommend you buy this or not. I'm not gonna tell you if you should buy it or not. I'm gonna leave it to you, but I'm still gonna tell you where I bought this from and give you the link. So actually, of course, you know it's coming. I bought this online. On Amazon, if this is going to be $18.99 Royal British Pounds for actually, um, ciao. 25 ml. So truly this should last you like five months or so. So it's definitely worth it. And I actually found the cheapest one listing that I could find on Amazon US and Amazon UK and I linked it down below in the pinned comments if you want to go back because you know that I got you covered. And on top of that, of course, if you want to save a little bit of more coins, the way you can do is shop on YesStyle, which is the Korean website. And there things are a lot cheaper. Also, there's always sales going on. And right now it is going to be 1127 Royal British Pounds. So it's a little bit cheaper. So once again, I got you covered and I got the link for this product 
product once again down below in the pinned comments and furthermore if you want to save even more coins off your entire purchase then what you can do is use code randoms at checkout anyways ma'am if you're still watching this is the first video that you watch me or if this is the second or third and you have not yet subscribed what is wrong with you Absolutely not. I do not stand this kind of behavior from you. So what you need to do is subscribe and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads because not only are you going to get entertainment and clownery, but you're also going to get information with skincare because I truly live between acne and wrinkles. I stand right there in between. If you also want to get your skin routine down to a T, girl, I am the person for you. So honestly, join the random family. I would love to have here. Mwah! Furthermore, if you maybe want to connect on a deeper level, then what you can do is actually follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok, both at my random to see a lot more skincare than you will not see over here. Also, if you have any skincare issues that you want to, you know, a little bit of help with, do not hesitate to DM me because I would love to help you out. And now to my randoms who are still watching, you know what time of the video is now. It's time for the Italian word of the video. Now today's word of the video comes with no surprise to anyone. To be honest, why did I even wait till so long to teach you this word? Because it's truly just so used in today's language. It is just so universal. It doesn't have no gender. It doesn't have no race, no religion. Truly, they're clowns all over the world and it, that is the beauty of it all and so truly the Italian word of the video is going to be pagliaccio which is clown in English trust me you will use this word a lot more than you think at least I do oh well excuse me what I think you're doing ah you're not gonna look at this video because yes even though this video is ending you need to watch whatever these do right here just gonna be as informative as informational whatever this video was for you and while doing that remember to be random and always be random and I swear, if you don't click, you know who my cousin is, Pennywise from the It movie. And I'm not afraid to send him a quick little text right here and tell him to go eat your child in the sewers or you while you're sitting on the toilet. Just <laughs> eat you there. So you better click, sis. I'm not kidding. I've got it with speed dial, actually. It's ringing. It's ringing. You better click.